And welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is Zero from TechRagnotInfo and today I got a replay in my Super Pershing. However, before we start there, um, I want to show you something and fix one of my mistakes. In the 8.6 test server video, I said that the M7 Priest would go back to tier 4 and the M37 at tier 3, like it used to be. Apparently, because I thought this was just a test server mistake. Apparently, even though it wasn't in the first version of the patch notes, this is how it's going to be. The M37 is now tier 4 and the M7 is tier 3. Why the hell they did that? I have no clue. And it doesn't seem like anything changed. 410 average damage. 410, so they get the same gun now. So the M37 is practically the same as the M7. Okay, slightly better aiming time, slightly better accuracy. Um, rate of fire is higher, so it's essentially the same gun, just slightly buffed. Okay, so... Yeah, sorry about that. Um, that was so weird. I have no idea why they would switch that around. But, there you go. They did. And second of all, I have updated my mod pack that I will post in the description with all the mods I use. Um, um, in the description below you can read all about it. Which mods are in there, which ones changed and all that. So, without further ado, let's get on with the replay. Now, as you can see, we are on Lakeville, and yeah, what the hell is going on with the game mode? Well, this is new. Encounter on Lakeville. Um, at first, kind of was thinking to go Valley, and it's like, no, no, don't think so. I'll stick to the town, thank you very much, so I head over to the town. Of course, the um, Super Pershing now, according to Wargaming, being very underpowered. Or whatever the hell they're going to do with it. Um, at least in this game, I haven't really noticed the difference yet. So it's not like they nerfed it or, I don't know, changed the rest of the game so much that this tank doesn't work anymore. What I'm thinking, but I'm not entirely sure, but what I'm thinking is that the problem problem lies with the spaced armor and that high explosive shells the way they're calculated now um, to take into account spaced armor doesn't work with the super pershing because the spaced armor is so close together so the spaced armor has no um, how do I put it no function basically against uh, high explosive and I think that is the problem with this tank so I haven't tested this out, but the tank might actually be very susceptible to explosive damage. I have to do some testing with that. Um, but anyways, getting back to the game. Um, base is being capped. So far, I haven't landed a single shot that actually did something. And I'm still trying to figure out, okay, where the hell do I want to go? <laughs> I mean, I'm not familiar with this game mode, so... hmm. Okay. Well, let's put this new accuracy to the test. No, it's behind the building. Dang it. Oh, wait, there he is. Fire! And the shot goes completely down into the ground. It's like, oh, come on. No accuracy, my ass. Ow. Shot from the middle. Well, it can redeem itself, right? What? I had almost no room around that tank and I missed? What the frack? Come on. Almost point blank. It wasn't zoomed in very far, but it was zoomed in a little bit. And I tried to go for his cupola. I figured that the angles I was shooting at, I wouldn't penetrate the lower plate. But... You know what? I was wrong. I can't. <laughs> I'm trying to stay out of his gun. Yeah, I miss. It's 
So it's like, ah, dang it. I can, you know, just see the back of his thing. Come on, back out, back out. There you go. Good boy. Bye. So look on the mini map. There's a clusterfuck right around me here. Ah, crap. Okay, that's super crushing. Ow. I should have turned my tank for completely exploding my side. Not a good idea. Cool, T71, is he coming out? Is he coming out? Ah. Oh, bounce the shot from T28. Well, I figured I would move up here. Ow, that bloody T28 again. And I miss. Good job, idiot. And I hit terrain, it's like, oh, come on! New accuracy, my bloody ass. That bounces, doesn't hit, I'm not sure. Oh, come on, really? Finally put one into him. And I keep moving so he can't focus down on my weak spot. Weak spot. It's like, wait a minute, why's that T71? Ew, sneaky little bugger going around, huh? And I look next to me and I see this uh, AMX capping. It's like, oh crap. I'm gonna have to protect him because this isn't looking too great. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And it bounce. Go. Yeah, this gun could use a little bit more pen because that kind of crap. No, oh, okay. took him out. Good. And right now I'm just using myself here as a shield for the AMX against the T-71 who already died. So it's like, okay, I don't need to be a bodyguard anymore, I don't need to protect the camper. Um, I guess I'll sit in the camp as well. Because I'm not feeling too confident walking out against a Tiger P, a Jack Tiger 88, Jack Panther 2 and a Super Pershing. And Super Pershing is at full health. Tiger P is at half health, yeah. I ain't running into that shit. <laughs> so, we have a TD in the middle, that is being an absolute boss. That T28 is holding all three of their tanks there. Because they just focus down on him, they lose. He dies, but he did a great job holding him off. And the AMX thanks him, and um... Of course, we all say great job, good job, because he really did, and base captured. <laughs> so, our after battle stats. Um, because I didn't have the replay, I'm using WOT, WOT replays com. I can talk, really. Um, which is a link to the European version of World of Tanks. And I can actually parse the replay file and give you your stats. Pretty damn nifty. So, I've got some screenshots here. I got 33k money in total, 1.5k experience for the double. Um, as you can see here, I got the second highest experience, the Amex 1375 had a pretty decent game. Um, I really didn't have an awesome game, but this wasn't so much about the game as about this was the first game in 8.6, so I want to you know, just talk about a couple of things. And let's see, the final overview here. We made 33k money, spent about 10k on repairs and ammo, so 22k profit, so by no means was this a extraordinary game. Not at all. Like I said, I just wanted to talk about a couple of things and I needed a video, so why not the first game I played? So I also wanted to show you these two. This is the money I made on my T14. And, as you can see, it's not a great game. 21 shots, um, 12 actually hits, 10 penetrations, 700 damage. Not a good game <laughs> at all. Had a pretty poor game, actually. Um, I damaged 6 people, got 2 kills, so it wasn't bad, but it was quite far from a good game. Um, and I still made 20k profit. Now... 
this tank already also, you know, already made a decent amount of money, but I feel like this tank is making just that little hair bit more. Because, you know, we had a fairly average game like this. I don't think I made 20k before. Um, I think it was more along the lines of 15. So it seems like this tank is making a bit more. And I got another one here. Second game I played. 14 shots fired, 12 hits for about the same amount of uh, damage. Slightly less damage done. Again, only 2 damage, 1 kill. So very much less than stellar game. I mean, it was pretty piss poor, actually. But I still made 18k profit. So uh, it feels like the T14 definitely makes more money now. Or there's some other things at play that I don't know, but it really feels like this tank is making more money now. Because before, when I had piss poor games in this tank, well, not piss poor, I mean, it wasn't that bad. I did something, but it was more along the lines of between 10 and 15k profit, not 20. So... It really feels like the T14 can make a lot more money now. I can't wait to have a good game in this tank and actually pull out 30-40k with it, because from the looks of it, it really seems possible. So, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments or anything, um, questions about the mods I use, I'll post them in the description or anything else, let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.